Welcome to the Humpback Bridge in Allegheny County, Virginia. The history of Humpback Bridge, the oldest covered bridge in Virginia, is fascinating and impressive. Created in 1857, it's one of the few remaining bridges in the U.S. that is higher in the middle than on either end. This is what gives the bridge the nickname Humpback. Covered bridges were built after the realization that adding a roof to the wooden structures would help support the decking and therefore increase the longevity of the bridge. Most of the covered bridges were made of the strongest available wood. In the case of the humpback covered bridge, this meant white oak and hickory. The bridge, as it stands today, has most of the original hand-hewn support timbers and decking that was laid down in 1857. However, most of the walls and roofing have been replaced several times since. Bridge decking was traditionally constructed of wide planks, a foot or more in width, and four to six inches in thickness. Most of the support beams are at least a foot thick. The covered bridge was used until 1929 when another route was built to cross Dunlap Creek, which is a tributary of the Jackson River. Covered wooden bridges ultimately averaged 10 times the lifespan of an uncovered one. Covered bridges were sometimes referred to as kissing bridges. During the more modest era of the late 19th century, as the privacy from passing through a covered bridge would allow passengers in a horse and buggy an opportunity to kiss each other unobserved. After 1929, the bridge was abandoned, but it was sometimes used by a local farmer in the early 1950s to store his hay bales. In 1953, the Virginia Highway Department matched a $5,000 fund that had been raised by the Covington Business and Professional Women's Club and the Covington Chamber of Commerce. Five acres surrounding the bridge were purchased and a small wayside park which opened in 1954 was built, allowing easier access. On October the 1st, 1969, the bridge was listed in the National Register of Historic Places and in 2012, it was designated a National Historic Landmark. If you ever find yourself in the mountains of Virginia near Covington, this is a special and historic attraction that you will want to visit.